yeah, it looks like it's got a mesocycle starting to develop as well, so it's going to look interesting. All right, yeah, we're um, we're going to head towards the Deltona Boat Launch. Hello? Oh, they got, it just went tornado warned? Oh, nice. I'm gonna keep heading up towards uh, towards Deltona and see if I can get a visual on it. I'm so this mezzo, yeah, it's pointing up on that side, which makes it hydro better. Super simple. It is. Where's it getting? If, it, if the ground is so cool, where's it gaining its power? It's not that. Spotters reported a funnel cloud. No kidding. Spot Very likely there's a tornado. It'll be gone by the time it's here though, right? So we're looking at a potential wall cloud across the, uh, the lake from here. We're just starting to get into forward flank downdraft now. You can kind of see it up there. There's a bit of a tail cloud streaming in right there, and there's the uh, there's the mesocyclone. We got a little bit of a lull in the rain. It's about to start pouring on us in a second. That's definitely it though. Just waiting right there to see if anything drops out of that. It's not tornado warned currently. It was tornado warned. Pretty well defined high precipitation supercell way better than the one that we saw in St. Pete in December. See if I can enhance the contrast a little bit. It kind of looks like our updraft base might be withering a little bit. It is moving into more stable air, but that's definitely it. I mean, just look at the lowering in the clouds out there. Wipers going. This is the forward flank about to hit us. We're looking south right now at that storm. It's the inflow tail right there leading into the mesocyclone. Currently, way too, uh, way too um, messy in there. I can't see a thing. It actually looks like it's starting to get some rain over there on that right side. So it's definitely looking a little bit more outflow dominant now. 